And welcome back to Who Would Win? We, who Would Win? Who, the, who Would Win? The Week Who Would Win? Uh, this comes to us from WGNG, who asked the question, Who would win in a fight? Nico Bolas from Magic the Gathering versus God Emperor Doom. Now, Nico Bolas, I've had, all, I mean, I've had Doom and Bolas on the channel before, but um, I've had Doom a few more times, but I've never, I don't think I've done God Emperor Doom. God Emperor Doom is the result of him gaining the powers pretty much of the Beyonders, uh, which resulted in the Battle World storyline. If I remember correctly, that was the, that was what the storyline was called. In essence, there was cr there was crumbling realities, and he more or less created a planet called Battle World that was the shards of different realities from Old Man Logan to the Ultimate Universe to the Standard Universe to I think it was like what um, Marvel Zombies was a big one in there, and then ultimately I think at one point the Marvel Zombies got out and started eating other universes. But basically, all these fragments of universes put together in one Earth. And this was the result of Dr. Doom, uh, who had gained the power of the Beyonders, and I think there was something else involved there, too. And he was just holding it together with a thought. Uh, he, as as the power of uh, Dr. Doom with the power of the Beyonders, he pretty much has all of Dr. Doom's abilities, his genius level of intellect, his, already, his vast knowledge of mysticism as it is, his vast tech, combined with the powers of a Beyonder, who has super, a super level psionic like multiversal level psionic powers, reality warping powers, everything in between. So, um, so yeah, he was so powerful. Even uh, I believe it was T'Challa who had the Infinity Gauntlet could not beat him. Like the Beyonders' powers supersede the Infinity Gauntlet. That's how powerful the Beyonders' powers are. Nico Bolas, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know magic lore, in the Magic: The Gathering card game, there's a vast, vast amount of lore to it in history. Nico Bolas is slash was, as you know he is, a t over 25,000 year old planes walking elder dragon. Now, in the game of Magic, there are, each set normally takes place on a plane of existence. Now, some of them will take place over the same plane, multiple sets, but each plane takes place on a different plane slash dimension slash reality of existence, each with their own theme, thematic stuff, whatever. Some, some of it is like a... Um, is like a fairy tale world. Others are like a steampunky world. One is based on gothic horror, which is interesting. One is doing giant cityscape, Ravnica, so forth. Greek mythology, uh, <clears throat> uh, Native American mythology, or Mesoamerican mythology, so forth and so on. Uh, and individuals who could traverse these planes are called planeswalkers. They walk the planes of existence. So, and Nicol Bolas was an elder dragon who, uh, an elder means older dragon, obviously, elder dragon, powerful was an old dragon who had a spark and ignited it and basically became one of the biggest threats the multiverse had ever really known. So, as such, he was, because he was tw over 25,000 years old, he had genius-level intellect. Uh, he had genius-level intellect, master of the long game. Like, this guy had plans on top of plans on top of plans. And he... Uh, he, 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 anytime a plan fell through, he always had either or a backup plan or just said, eh, it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, so that, and so he is a master of strategy, but his power comes from his ability to draw from the natural energy or mana of the, you know, the world, black, red, and blue, uh, respectively, uh, respectively, not respectively, respectively. Uh, he was so dangerous that even just his touch could drive a person insane. He was literally capable of, obviously, as dragon breathing fire. He had massive amounts of strength. He was a supremely powerful telepath. A master telepath named called Jace Belrin was able to um, was able to penetrate his, was able to get into the base of his mind. But he was uh, he was only able to perceive his mind as just a completely smooth sphere. Like there was no cracks, nothing for him to actually get into his brain until he said. Oh, you want in my head? Here, let me allow you. And then nearly brain killed Jace, a master telepath in his own right. That's how powerful of a telepath he was. He's capable of necromancy. He's capable of manipulating time, gravity. He is capable of um, transmuting matter. He is capable of literally creating a world in his own image at the waning of his uh, original power. Um, uh, at the height of his power, he was... A god. He literally was a god. He could do anything. He actually couldn't even stay dead the way planeswalkers initially worked. Um, 
they were functionally gods. They could, they, their bodies could be destroyed, but they themselves could not actually be killed. Uh, their spirits would linger until they found new hosts and were able to resurrect. And even in, and in the magic world, even if you die, your spirits are a creature type, and their spirits uh, and, and zombies are a creature type in the magic world. He it, um, he could still come back theoretically. His twin Ugin, the spirit dragon, uh, even said after his current defeat, he lost his spark, and he's currently just waiting to die thousands of years later because he's still a dragon, still waiting to die. Uh, even says uh, even said when they uh, admit uh, revealed that Bolas was dead, like. Yeah, no, uh, he survived death before. He'd do it again. Uh, he's got to stay here. I got to look after him. Uh, that's that's how dangerous of an individual this guy is. So the question is, in a fight between two, basically, world-enders, reality shapers at their peak, who would win? Because I'm going to tell you right now, the bolos we got throughout the entirety of the series was not at his peak power. So I could, I would not count him as... It, so I would just say Doom would beat that bolos without very much difficulty peak bolos versus doom that is interesting because they're more or less capable of doing the same thing the other is capable of doing but the uh but that said one of them is capable of doing it on a different level of uh on a different level than the other and that would be God Emperor Doom, because he was holding shards of realities together uh, from in just one world, Me meaning he was holding different realities together into one single reality, technically speaking. They were, they were walled off from each other, but he was doing that with his mind. Bolas can shape one reality to his will, but multiples, like hundreds, dozens, whatever, uh, that's not something we ever saw him capable of doing. So, while he would certainly be a beyond planetary, probably he would be a reality level threat, he isn't quite a, a multiversal threat in the same way that Doom is, whose power literally could just shape multiverses. Um, so, and again, we're talking about an individual who could easily go against uh, someone with the Infinity Gauntlet, which can manipulate the entirety of that universe like that, and he could beat someone like that. So these two clash. It would actually, it would really just be the Infinity Gauntlet versus uh, T'Challa with the Infinity Gauntlet versus uh, God Emperor Doom again scenario. Where yeah, he's powerful, and yeah, he could actually probably dish out a good couple of blows. But in the long in the long game, Bolas does not have the power to beat Doom. His telepathy is impressive. Not taking it. Hey, hell, his telepathy could even might even be on the level of something like uh, I. Actually, that's a good uh, bad matchup at some point. And Professor X versus Nicol Boss, whose telepathy is greater. Uh, but uh, Doom's got indomitable will. He's also, because of the Beyonders, got power. He's literally, again, he's holding the battle world with his, together with his mind. So I wouldn't... <clears throat> I'd say Bolas could definitely throw hands. Uh, he could uh, he could slow time, manipulate gravity... The, you know, energy blasts, manipulate, you know, whatever. He can even go, he can even negate abilities like uh, impervious or instructable defenses. But I don't, um, I don't see him being someone who can get through the power of a multiversal, as a person who can literally affect the multiverse just by, just by, you know, thinking. So I would go God Emperor doom for this fight but this is just my opinion who do you got in this fight let me know in the comments below until then thanks for watching hope you enjoyed like comment share subscribe and i'll see you next time